on to the program that takes you through the world of creativity in just 30 minutes. A warm welcome to At House. As usual, we have lovely artifacts lined up for you, but you have to sit back, relax, and enjoy all those details coming up after our Arty Quote. Literature is in many ways like faith. It's a leap of imagination. I write because I want to write. I write because I have a story to tell. There is this urge always to write and put things down. We begin the program with this exhibition done by this contemporary artist who hopes to showcase the African identity through his works of art. Colourful works of art, vivid and demanding the attention of the viewer. They hold the individual spellbound and force conversations probably to determine what each piece is saying. This is the first solo exhibition of Uzoma Samuel tagged Fabrication at the Tort Pyramid Art Center. The show consists of vibrant expressive fabric collages that confirm Aryan Wu's expertise with this medium. I see that he imbibes the principles of creative practice that actually give what I call fairness, firmness and originality to form in, as a product of artistic practice. A graduate of art from the University of Port Harcourt, Uzoma chose to carve a niche for himself here after some escapades in photography. Uzoma works with mixed media, mostly with fabric, which is locally sourced acrylic and oil on canvas. His colors are vivid and bold, yet somewhat subtle. But what inspired him to go down this route? His early days were loaded with fabric, seeing that his mother was a tailor. Instead of towing the part of making clothes like his mother, he decided to put these fabrics together into pictures that can convey his inner thoughts. He chose to use the engineering term fabrication just to help explain how everything in life is connected. Everything is fabricated. Apart from the fact that fabrication is mostly used in engineering terms, you know, so um, then for an artist using the uh, recycled pieces of clothes, that word fabrication for this exhibition also have to come from that uh, part of fabrics coming together with dication, you know. So it's something that just came as an inspiration for this exhibition while we are trying to put up the works and also look at what to title it in relation to what we are showcasing.
Born in Imo State, Anyangwu attended Government Craft Development Center College in Port Harcourt, where he developed an interest in art. He later studied fine art at the University of Port Harcourt. This project work took about eight years putting together. Each work is graceful in its own way, like the piece that speaks about his journey in life or leadership seen in the portraits of the Lagos State Governor and the life of the female folk in the big city of Lagos, captioned Sisieko. The rebirth actually is uh, my self-portrait and is showcasing my life experiences, travel, commitment to my art, family, and everything that entails about the artist by like standing here today. And then the governor's portrait came also, I think it was a work that I started two years ago. And then because the inspiration came because we were supposed to have a program with him and all that, but then not that I actually choose to include that in this program, but coincidentally, I have to select it in because here is a key place where we are working and then we have seen all he has trying to do to uh, push the artist or promote the art sector and all that. And then I think it's very much interesting that we include him also as someone who loves art and supports the arts institutions. Lady in Red is a series I've been working on for years. And then I decided to also include them into this exhibition. If their title uh, is a series called Sisieko series, majorly focuses on the uh, women, beauty, uh, African elegance, and all the rest of them, you know, to showcase whatever thing as an artist that you have been trying to practice and then used to push out what we have been doing in the studio. Each piece of these artworks appear to have an attitude of its own. The artist believes attitude is everything and wants everyone young and old to do an attitudinal switch in order to move forward. There is always um, that space to accommodate every young person that aspires to grow. And then the simple thing we have to leave for them is that um, attitude to work is everything. Attitude to your learning is everything. Attitude to your appreciation. And then you'll never forget that those that are up there were ones like you that just want to start. So everything has to go down to hard work, first of all. Then put down every mindset of trying to look at how you can cut out the way you are supposed to go for that pursuit. You know, a lot of people or a lot of young artists are finding the easiest way and not want to go to the right way of, you know, the practice, you know. So, attitude to your work is everything. So, I think uh, the best advice I'll give to them is that persistence and what they want to achieve. What is Uzoma trying to tell us? How important clothes is? And then, apart from that one also, many of us as humans, we come from different background, religious background, different religious ethnic groups. But when we come together and look at the strength of our diversity, it makes a powerful statement. And that is what Uzoma is trying to tell us here by fabricating different recycled materials with fabric wasted materials, he is trying to make a statement and it comes out with these beautiful works of art. The art patrons are in awe of the efforts and the outcome. So when I learned about it, 
I, I never have this mindset that one could do this, but coming close to the work, it's, it's quite amazing and still amazed at what it could bring up. While creating a niche for his style of art, Uzoma Samuel is also preaching the recycling message to ensure that waste is reduced and the environment is better protected. And still to come on the program, your works of art for this week, a teaser of our artists for this week, and when we return, we'll have more artifacts for you to feast your eyes on. So don't go anywhere.